Hogwarts, a school for witches and wizards. Poof, Alakazam. Located in the Scottish Highlands, the four schools Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin are experimenting with college football for the first time. Yes, Quidditch will still be featured, but these four houses will be making their debut as FBS independents. For Hogwarts, they clearly have the school size, funding, and wizard athletes to leapfrog FCS play. And it never hurts to have Harry Potter coaching the Gryffindor team. The sorting hat has determined my fate. I am a Ravenclaw so I must fly with the flock and rebuild them alongside coach Roger Davies. Former Ravenclaw Quidditch captain, I might add. I'm expecting us to outwit opponents, trick plays, and doubling down on strategy to win games. We're going to need to with Draco Malfoy coaching Slytherin. We already know they're going to play dirty. And Cedric Diggory coaching Hufflepuff. Wizards competing in a muggle sport is just unfair. I think these schools can start to expect a magical run sooner than later. I mean, heck, Slytherin is already an 86 overall in a tough out. Wizards like Perry Oakwater in their final year at Hogwarts wanted to walk on and make a difference for their house. Hufflepuff coached by Cedric is not to be overlooked, 85 overall. The difference on this team is that there are a lot of young wizards only in their second year that look like stars in the making. Desmond Wicks one of them, Mateo Weeks is going to be tossing him the rock for years to come, and of course watch out for Manu. On paper here coach Harry Potter was able to muster up an 82 overall, which is all right, but it's full of wizards in their last year, and it'll be interesting to see how he recruits out of Gryffindor. And that leads us to to my team, Ravenclaw. A local Hogwarts newspaper said we are the team to beat, even though on paper we have the lowest overall, 79. Maybe it's senior star quarterback Perry Lovegood, or freshman hopeful right behind him, Simon Simonson, but already in the AP top 25 is wild. What we lack in size and star talent we make up for in wit. If we're gonna show up the other houses, we need contribution from guys like Chuck Flitwick, freshman John Lockhart, or massive senior contributions from guys like Sidney Ollivander. Going to need to be smart and creative to get past the opposition with much stronger rosters. As you can see here, as an FBS independent, we have a mix and matching of different conference play. However, what I'm really interested in is the mid-season tournament against Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. It's for all the bragging rights. Before Roger Davies and I can turn our attention, we need to fill the board with some magical talent from Wizards across the nation. We have Owls on the standby, ready to give out athletic scholarships at our word. I don't know if it's a surprise, but so many people want to play for Hogwarts, including Salazie Choi. We need this man. 89 speed, 95 throw power, gem, five star. But 100%, that's the plus, man, of when you are a magical school. You attract some magical players. Don't hate Roger or Ravenclaw because it's applicable to all the houses. Opposing schools may think it's cheeks that we can go ahead and target four stars right off the rip. Slightly behind Slither on this one. But as you might have heard, don't hate the player, hate the game. Starting the season on the road against Baylor, it's time I show you all the uniform options for Ravenclaw. Black alternates, it's kind of hard to see chrome. Try with Wizard Ice White, Tri Wizard Blue, and the home uniforms, of course. I'll put the username in the description for all the Hogwarts team builder schools. Shout out to them. They put in some work on this. So you too could fly with the flock and join us at Ravenclaw or represent your own school in Hogwarts. First look at Lovegood and the Ravens. Let's go ahead and capitalize here on a red zone chance. Rain game, so we're going to rely a lot on Sheriff LeCount to pound the stone. Didn't pound it hard enough there. So let's go ahead and pitch it to him on a fourth and two. Baylor defense all over him. Defense gave us another chance to go ahead and get some points. So on this third down, mean stiff arm, but going backwards. Flitwick on the defensive line at Lockhart here at linebacker. Let's go ahead and plug up any Baylor bear that tries to get down the field. Have to jump in this team's inaugural game, but we're really caring a lot about the tournament. I wanna see all the houses battle it out when it comes time in the middle of the year. One of our main goals during this rebuild is to obviously secure bragging rights for all of Hogwarts, and we're not gonna be doing it like that if Lovegood's gonna be saucing up these balls to the DBs. In the fourth quarter, down by eight, looking to show our resilience here in the face of pressure, giving it out to Vallejo, who throws a stiff arm, keeps it going, Going first and five. All about strategy and tomfoolery. So jet touch pass. Why not? Baylor did not bite at all. So we'll just go back across the middle to Johnson and let's tie this thing up. Big two point conversion here for Lovegood. Scrambling out to his right. He should be able to walk it in. There you go. You already know Roger Davies wants to start off this year in this rebuild with a win. So let's go ahead and screen it out. We're not stopping until Ravenclaw can become a national contender. If you're soaking up all these creative rebuilds I've been dropping lately, as much as I've been having fun making them, strongly consider hitting that subscribe button just like Bofelli catching a clutch ball. Now under two minutes, we're moving quick. Lovegood gonna serve one up. That thing 
had some flow. I know it's our first year looking for wizards to fill the team, but I need a man with some cannon to his arm. I mean, look at, I mean, that was a bad throw, yes, but look at how much it floated. Buddy's probably got like 80 throw power. Now down by seven after that costly turnover. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Was that a one-handed interception? I think we're gonna have to see that again from Cordero. Going to the outside, one-handed interception. So that was a tough finish to a game where I thought we had a good chance to give Baylor a run for their money. Freshman John Lockhart might have been player of the week for the independent conference, but the result already knocked us out of the top 25, which was a little ambitious for us to be ranked there anyway. Around Hogwarts is all the buzz about Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. They all got a win. Looks like Ravenclaw is the only winless team, but that could all change here soon. Based on the performance we saw from Lovegood, you already know I scheduled a visit for Choi to see us when we take on Hufflepuff. Not only does he have wheels, he has 95 throw power. The key to landing really good players like Marshall Awasika, I've noticed, is to hard sell and schedule them as soon as possible. Like, who doesn't want a 98 speed deep threat? Battling it out for a plethora of five stars, we're making some good ground on some players, losing ground on others. After dropping one to Baylor, we lost a big one to a Louisiana Tech. Turning the ship around, squeaking one by against Kent State, then we killed the Pandas. Two and two, worst house in Hogwarts. It gets scary as we face three and one, four and oh, and four and one as our next three games. Let the tournament begin. On this occasion, Gryffindor's gonna wear the Triwizard home. I think it's only fitting we equip the Triwizard blue. Let the games begin. A raucous crowd here full of witches and wizards playing for Griffin Pride as Lockhart steps up for Ravenclaw. Starting the tournament off with a bang. Lovegood's gonna hand it to LeCount, who's gonna bounce up for a first. And don't look away now, all of a sudden it's 21-3. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the air while getting hit, Vallejo. Roger Davies clearly says it's time to dot these guys up until Lovegood just threw that to center field. Roger Davies willing to look past those mistakes if we can just keep the pressure on. Jet touch pass, spin move, and six. Ravenclaw cruising through this one. 35-10, keeping it going, man. They have no answer. Lovegood feeling awfully good about round one here of the tournament. As a stop right here would signal the end for Harry Potter's team. Instead, they get right past the lunging DB. Yep, folks, I think that's gonna be all with a signature Lovegood good bomb to cap this one off. Shout out to Gryffindor for putting up a fight, but 42-24, I think we all know who has bragging rights going into next week. Danielle Buffelli, what a standout performance from this wizard. This next game against Hufflepuff is huge as we have a ton of prospective guys visiting. Nick Harris, Choi, Marshall, Awasika, even Akeem Mevis, a huge win would catapult us, I think, right into a commit. Instead of the away uniforms or alternates, they're gonna go for the Triwizard Gold uniform. And I think we keep the good times rolling with the Triwizard blue. This time, Ravenclaw has the home field advantage. Let's see if it makes a difference. Crucial third down here on the opening drive. Love good. Steps back. Surveys. Fires to Johnson. Can't hang in there. Can't stress the importance of this matchup enough. What a play, Ollivander. Yes, sir. When you're not working on broomsticks and wands, you're getting interceptions. Huge play by Ollivander, such a deep bloodline there. Now we can go ahead, reset the attack. Could have had some points there if it wasn't for Bryson Conrad on the last one. No worries, Johnson takes us to first and goal. Love good surveys across the middle. <laughs> No, man, no. Last chance here before half. We don't want to get all testy like we did last time. So instead, Chang's going to get us right down to the one. Only two seconds left, and we're going to go for it. Handing it off instead of taking three points up the middle. Touchdown, flag on the play. What's it going to be? Holding, really? Come on, Carlos. So we don't get another chance because the flag was against us. No points. This one is getting tight. Third and 13. Now fourth down there in field goal range. For all of Hogwarts, there is so much on the line. Maybe a big ball here. Touchdown deflected into his arms. Ravenclaw Nation. Oh my goodness. That was something special. Did someone cast a spell from the stands or what? Because this thing was looking like deflection city. No big deal for freshman one. In out here. Roger's gonna go two clock. Let's burn this thing out. Effective run after effective run should do the trick. 
LeCount gets us the third and one. What's it going to take to get one yard? There it is. Obviously, one more first down is what we need. There we go. Timeouts are burning. Crazy how clutch some of these players are stepping up. Looking outmatched against every other house, we really found a way to stick together until that left shank absolutely unbelievable 20 seconds later they're already scoring on us so lovegood's gonna have to drop back and throw a bomb to Juan, the freshman burnt that hufflepuff cornerback and now the run game mule back gets us closer timeout lovegood looking to be a ravenclaw hero doesn't have to do too much honestly let's just step up get some yards, slide down, and hurry back up. Last thing we want to do is make a bad decision and end this game, so let's just throw it out of bounds. Badgers are not really falling for the jet touch pass, but we still go back to it. Hurry back up. Come on now. Let's try that again, shall we? Third and 11. Clock ticking down. Can I get some blocks? Anyone around the edge? Should I just take the field goal or go for the win? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I just want to evaluate. This is so freaking sketchy, but we're going for it. It's all on the line. This is the Triwizard Tournament. We see Chang slip through as one second left on the clock it's a touchdown our biggest receiver the senior wizard in his last year at hogwarts he's not gonna have many more tournaments and he just made the biggest splash in ravenclaw football history early on in the debut inaugural season let's go man what a fourth quarter comeback tactician like from perry lovegood no doubt the biggest week on our schedule we come through and give the prospects a show Choi is in marshall is in and well i'm hoping a couple others make up their mind looks like we lost mevis sucks we just lost out on akeem but Choi was the better option anyway championship game here of the inner house tournament it's slytherin versus ravenclaw no reason to get away from from the Triwizard Blue, we've been rocking all tourney. Slytherin's gonna come in here and rep the Triwizard Greens. <laughs> Slytherin has home field advantage, and as Ravenclaw, we need to be strategic about how we play this one on the road in the finale. Starting off with a love good pick six is not my cup of tea, and man, this Slytherin defense is for real. Slytherin down our offense. Maybe Chang will come through. What a monster play. Star players in the star games, man. They really come out to shine lovegood just needed anything to get a connection going and that is exactly how chang answers for the team fourth in goal they're gonna go for it here at the one just need to plug up the middle no siree a lot of slytherin alumni packed this crowd hostile territory for sure we gotta watch out for some dirty blows from this defense would not put it past malfoy in his coaching agenda to do something crazy like that how about cup stepping in and giving us the lead back and forth this thing goes LeCount's gonna get it off there until a flag is thrown rough in the passer you can't do that what did I say about the dirty plays Countwell starting it early I swear if Lovegood gets injured because of this game we're gonna have a word or two for that house stadium buzz in here Chang gets a step again Perry, what are we doing? Slytherin gets the stop here, fourth down. We still want to go for it, and it completes. We'll not back down from a fight. No way. Cup again, all the way down to the two. That's how you step up and help your team finish it off. LeCount, walk the dog. 26 21, another good game. All of them have been pretty good, minus the Gryffindor matchup where we really handle business there. Cup is a machine. This dude's been going next level. All in all, it's safe to say this season has been a smashing success for the houses at Hogwarts trying out college football for the first time. Quidditch still doing great, of course, but the crowds, the excitement, the attendance, popularity is skyrocketing here. With three minutes left, Lovegood and Ravenclaw tasked with finishing out this game. Every time I just look at a route and see someone pressing up on Chang, I shake my head. I don't know what they're doing because look, it gets open more often than not. You are a fool for testing this Ravenclaw supreme receiver slytherin was not the only one to play dirty out here as you saw with that showboat on the last touchdown now this drive's actually about chewing the clock and getting out of here it's been hard to find success against their run defense little touch pass here blown up rogers i don't know about that play call man but i guess that's why you're coach not getting this fourth down practically guarantees slytherin will probably score i hit the wrong button it didn't matter because mule box still picks up the first down i was looking at r1 who was open wide perry lovegood i never doubted you wink wink nudge nudge but uh hey that is gonna seal it up 40 35 we just went 3-0 against every other house and for 2025 ravenclaw holds the belt and has all authority at hogwarts absolute stunning winner right there chang helping us out
at the end. That was fun. Let's do it again next year. At least in the meantime, we're loading up Choi with a couple new weapons. Nick Ferris, a gem receiver. I feel like I knew it was going to be too good to be true for some of these prospects like Baptiste here. Falling to Penn State in Florida. Still holding in there for Oprah. Barely holding on with Zach. Chisholm falling out of it. So yeah, we're going to need to do better here with what remains of our points. Even with the win over UMass, it wasn't enough to impress Greg Baptiste, Zach Campanero, just losing some guys to big schools in the recruiting battle. Long battle, but worth the wait. Emmanuel Oprum, your newest Ravenclaw. It's kind of tough to land some of these guys because we have an academic requirement. And I'm hoping Georgia Rapco can pass his final exam because we need him with his platinum blow up ability to destroy the offensive line rushing in at the linebacker spot. A couple new guys here, Max Bromel, a four-star gem. He's going to be on that broom. And shoot, I guess more quarterbacks is better than none. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got him. A recent stretch of losses has locked us out against three guys we were really going hard for. That's insane. Now we're going to have to turn our attention to guys like Femi Chen. That's the hard part when you get on a winning streak, knock out Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin, and then go and lose to Texas A&M, Georgia State, Western Michigan, and Utah to end out the year. Slytherin finished 5-7, and seven, had a rough losing streak to end the year as well. Harry Potter was actually able to turn around the season and go 7-5, and five, good for a bowl game in their first season. Hufflepuff at 6-6, six and six, finished just as good as we did. So we started with the first laugh running the Wizard Tournament, but Gryffindor at the end of the day had a better record. Haas Haney pulls out the Heisman for TCU, and it looks like Ravenclaw gets the first responder bowl after all, which that too ended in heartbreaking loss, 35-6. to six. Hufflepuff was the only house to have a first team All-American, and I also just want to call it, I'm surprised to see a Toledo quarterback take home first team honors. Second team sorting through the list no one. Freshman? Any freshman All-American? Not quite. So we're going to look at FBS independents here across the board. See Will McKinney and a punter. Jimmy Chang and Mike Johnson with second team honors. Throw in Vincent Simmons and Sidney Ollivander. It's time we move on from Love Good's 29 touchdown season and enter a new era of Ravenclaw football. A handful of good young players want to leave Ravenclaw. Never thought I'd have to say that. And Simonson is not coming back. Will we have better luck with guys like Juan? No. What house do they want to go to? Where will they turn? So far, we haven't gotten anyone. Maybe Butcher can be a sign of good things. Jamerson, low chance. He does stay. So the one guy with a low persuasion chance is staying where everyone else is leaving. Maybe Vines, a fullback. Nope. So we keep a good center, but say goodbye to a handful of good young sophomores. The Ravenclaw hype has died down a little bit. In fact, we lost one full star of prestige, but that shouldn't stop us from entertaining all of these transfers and maybe the difference they can make on our team. Also looks like we could pluck a couple guys from Slytherin. Starting off with none other than Rick here a four-star transfer out to Texas Tech. Then we'll go ahead and look to fill our other needs with other players. Hoping to see positive play from guys like Powell, Kerry Lacombo, Melvin Logan, George Webb, and so many more. Got the highest rated transfer on our board, so that's a good sign. And many other guys that are going to be coming right behind him, looking to be the next difference maker for Ravenclaw. National signing day is here. Ravenclaw comes up with the 14th best class. Hufflepuff landed a couple four-stars. Gryffindor and Slytherin had rather disappointed pointing classes. Training results are in. We're up to an 82 overall. This needs to be a bounce back season. Needing to lead the bounce back is Solacy Choi. 80 overall, true freshman. This is one of the highest pure overall freshmen I've ever seen before attribute boosts. Of course, if it wasn't obvious, elite development. Literally landing one of the best, if not the best quarterback prospect in the nation. He chose to become a Ravenclaw wizard over anyone else. Our transfer running back Ian will get the starting nod and Rick Yaboa from Texas Tech will lead this receiver room that houses two young and extremely good receivers marshall the impact 98 speedster and nick the impact six foot five physical specimen paul west is a four-star tight end i can get behind 73 overall impact already had a good one in lockhart but you can't go wrong with star emmanuel oprah these two will get plenty of time spread across that backfield day one starter is a rack po platinum blow up means he will not get pancaked at all he should have improved impact block resistance this next season looks like a lot of fun starting off off on the blue before taking on a mix of ranked and unranked opponents middle of the season hogwarts tournament of course and hopefully we can defend that cup led by young guys at the helm first batch of prospective ravens we got a ton of five-star gems i'm serious deontay mevis is a good looking right tackle damian riggins a blend of speed and strength 86 speed 84 power move Jaden barnes a cornerback with 95 speed tj toll 94 strength 85 power moves walt durbin a tackle to compliment on the other side and 
and yeah man that's at least five five star gems so technically they're six stars in the meantime let's see if Choi can go ahead and get our season off started on the right foot the blue smurf turf an iconic site to see where sports tourists come from around the nation to catch a game here no better way to kick off a new season on the blue and with a new quarterback Choi read option first play you can tell he's been running hard in the offseason all of that's gonna come back holding on the first play should have more chances as the game goes on instead we're gonna find yaboa here no that's lacombo opening drive here let's see if Choi has what it takes to be that guy we need momentum we need completions not interceptions shake off some beginner rust no worries no worries we'll get back at it Choi. 17-0 here in the second quarter unbelievable what i'm seeing out of the broncos no more messing around it's fourth down we got a wide open tight end let's just hit it here and get some points third and seven on the slot here we got a man first and goal Choi gets his team back to the line we're gonna let the running back take it on this one ian could not get it in so i think the best course of action here is to play action somehow managed to get a safety so heck we'll take it and then launch it up to yaboa who comes down with it oh man what a moss job that's the transfer to texas tech he's feeling and magical just casted a spell on that corner watch out we are here and we are scoring it now when it rains it pours let's go ravenclaw this is it man i'm telling you the broncos defense and offense came to play really out here spoiling Choi's debut man there's gonna be a lot more games to come but yeah this was ugly 51 22 boise defended the blue in a big way and we're gonna have to hope for better things to come this season for ravenclaw it's hard to stay down especially after that boise state game when we're landing guys like Deontay Mevis and Kiki Coffee in the same week, two five stars. But wait, there's more. We're almost there on Jaden Barnes. One week later, Jaden Barnes is coming. And look at Spiegel and Tool. We're also making a run. Let's get the party started. Gage Spiegel with a need for speed. TJ Toll makes it our fifth five star signee. We are killing it out here on the recruiting front. The tournament is back. We won the first one against Hufflepuff. But look at Gryffindor here, 24th in the nation. We are going to have our hands full with Harry Potter's bunch. Looking to have a season better than six wins. Choi has been doing a great job turning the tide. Let's go ahead and dump it off to Ian here, see if he can get some space. It's fourth and 14, and yeah, we're just throwing a Hail Mary out there, and he caught it, so that's a first down. Let's go ahead and run a play action, see if we can get him open. That's exactly the man we had in mind. Touchdown, we're up early. Gryffindor seven and one this season. They are just killing it, but they can't find an answer for Ravenclaw. It's only the second quarter, so I definitely don't want to jinx anything for our bunch. Missed the field goal, but yeah, I was saying it's odd to me that we can hang with any of the Hogwarts schools for as good as they are, but then just get pummeled by some of the worst schools in the FBS. Just goes to show that the competition is fierce out here in Hogwarts. And look at the DB, number six, man. He really run after that one. Now down by a touchdown. This drive is crucial. Choi is going to snap it, go with the quick slant. There we go, first down. Lining up Powell here like a blocker. We're going to sneak him out on the play action. It looks like it could get open, and he's got it. First and goal. Crunch time right here. We're going to go to our big tight end Powell again, letting him finish it off. Tie game. In the fourth quarter, you already knew this flock was going to be turning it up as we complete on the fourth down conversion, and Yaboa's got a lane ahead of him. That makes our life really easy. Let's just hand it off to Ian, and now we have a lead. Going for it here on fourth down, Griffin. Gryffindor really needs this, and they are not going to get it. Choi and the Ravens really just want to run the clock out, so we'll hand it off. Second and five here. Instead of running the clock out, we're going to take a surprise shot up to our man. Good defense. Always looking to see if we can catch him napping, and, and there's the first down after all. Sweet, sweet victory taking the kneel down that's gonna do it we win and we're 2-0 in this year's wizard tournament 28-21 over Gryffindor another year it comes down to facing Slytherin if we can go ahead and beat them we'll sweep and on third and 16 we need a big stop here to keep the dream alive scrambling out to the left the quarterback has tons of daylight he's gonna get clocked fourth and inches this looks like a option type flick great call there by the quarterback he's gonna pick it up slytherin four and five they don't want this season to become a lost cause as they'll dump it to 81 just goes the distance touchdown they're up early choice got his team at midfield here sending one out in motion gonna take the one-on-one -on -one matchup to the far left he's got him yaboa 
touchdown, we're all tied up. Nothing like a beautifully placed ball to razzle and dazzle the home crowd. This is a remarkable feat to see right now. A true freshman wizard in his first year at Hogwarts just putting on a show. There hasn't been this much promise at Hogwarts since Luna Lovegood herself, maybe even Harry Potter do it dare I say? Man, the real question is how would Harry Potter perform out here on a college football field if this was during his time? He gets to have fun coaching it and watching as Ravenclaw just runs away again with the house cup. Slytherin's not gonna back out, so let's just sidearm sling that thing over pick up seven and keep it moving. More points before half always come at a premium. We want as many as we can get. Slytherin defense, no one out there playing center fields. So that means some one-on-one -on -one matchups will develop just like this. Yaboa is just too good. I don't know why Slytherin keeps making that mistake because now we're right here in the red zone, jumping it out second and goal. Classic feather in Ravenclaw's hat here on the offense, that jet touch. Looks like Slytherin was well prepared for it this time, but they weren't prepared for the running back coming out the backfield. Bringing in the heat here, fourth down. Why is he so open? All of a sudden, we're letting Slytherin creep right back into this until Yaboa says, Good night. Action packed fourth quarter. Here we go. Fourth and 12 looking to cover the zones. No good. And I think Choi is cruising to his first ever Hogwarts tournament championship right here. With emphasis here going across the middle. He's got Powell. Absolutely massive for Ravenclaw. Now going to be 6-0. 6-0 against the other Hogwarts houses. That is a feat. So far, I'd say our mission is going good. Dumping it out here. Seeing if we can pick up a first down. Not quite. All she wrote 35, 27, not one, but two back to back Hogwarts Cups. Freshman Choi, five touchdowns, 350 yards. That's my guy. Cedric, Harry Potter, and Draco Malfoy all losing by one possession. I feel like year two had some more promise than it panned out, but Barry, Chuck, and DeAndre, three gem, three star prospects coming over with Corin and Earl on deck. Winning a couple close ones here against Temple, New Mexico State, we obviously had Hogwarts number before dropping the last two to Ohio and Old Dominion. Make way for James Winston, pretty close to Jameis Winston, but this guy is a kicker and he's a gem. Another TCU quarterback with Heisman, what are they feeding those guys over there? We had the first responder bowl in year one. Year two progress continues. Seven wins. That's better than six. And a Duke's Mayo Bowl. Another extremely disappointing outcome. 42 to 17. Mayo Bowl out of reach. With the amount of Heisman winners pumping out of this program, it's no surprise to me that TCU made it to the final game and are taking on Florida. Perfect season no more as the Gators knock them out. Oh man, you hate to see it. Flitwick wants to go our right end. Persuasion low failed. Malcolm Jamerson, we convinced him last year. What about now? Polaris, how about you? Last chance here with Lane Scottenheimer. Come on, baby. Ah, got some options here in the transfer portal like Sap, former cornerback from Missouri. I'll take that. Another DB from Baylor. Happy to stock up on some depth and guys that could even make a day one difference. A top 10 recruiting class and training results up to an 85. Look at some of our last recruits, Arakpo and Emmanuel, two true sophomores up into the 90 threshold. This team should continue to take leaps and bounds. Choi up to 84. Marshall and Nick atop the receiver room are two guys we brought in just last year. Making their way up the chart are the new guys like Gage Spiegel, Elite Dev, Delvin Upshaw right there as well. Day one starter at left tackle, Deontay Mevis, Elite Dev. All the five-star gem players like this guy, I can guarantee you are Elite Dev. Earl Dodge, not a five-star gem, but a three-star gem star development. Youth movement looking really good for the Ravens. Star development, 92 speed, three-star left end. Back to five-star gems. Of course, TJ Toll, true freshman, number one in the depth chart. He's gonna start and make a difference day one. And Jaden Barnes, our third five-star gem signee. Hogwarts and the rest of the FBS better watch out. I'm not sure how many of you are paying attention to the details, but I was curious. James Winston, elite development kicker. How many of you all signed an elite dev kicker? So I guess Notre Dame's just built like that, snagging all the first team preseason honors, second team honors as well. They got most of those. New season for Ravenclaw begins against Texas State. I believe this could be our best year yet. Not only are we absolutely killing it on the recruiting front, bringing in so many five stars the last couple of years, we got even more like Derek Merriman, who would be a wonderful addition in our ranks. A 10-win team last season. This is not the Texas State of yesteryear. It'll be interesting to see how we set the tone in week one of the new season against these Bobcats. 
I don't like that gash play. But we got young star linebackers like Arakpo and Opram here. We're gonna man this team and see if we can get the stop. But touchdown, Bobcats. Just makes it more impressive when we come back. As this is Choi's first look at the field in year number three, gonna go and find Vallejo first down. Just a peek at the receivers, Wosika and Ferris. Those are the two sophomore receivers that are studs. Marshall Owasika is the one with 98 speed, so I'll be sure to look out for him anytime I get the chance. Call his name. He's there. Marshall's first collegiate touchdown. Welcome to Ravenclaw. Welcome to Hogwarts. With 98 speed, you're going somewhere. Back across to Ferris. There's the other receiver. Calling for a play action here. Looks like we're going to take a shot to Ferris to the corner intercepted we forced that way too hard under pressure here why not let it rip to marshall with 98 speed he's practically tyree kill what a catch that moves it right down into the red zone for Choi. and on the next play he's gonna step up what did i just witness right there that was so crazy i'm gonna have to instant replay it stepping up throwing it off his foot and catching for a first down. I thought security checked in all magic wands at the entrance because I don't know how that just happened. Rookie campaign was good for Choi, but this is about to be a year two glow up. We got a wide open tight end across the middle of the field. It's Powell going the distance, touchdown. These dudes are playing top tier football. I guess it kind of makes sense why they were last in Quidditch the last two years because they've been putting all their focus and effort into college football. This is the first time in Hogwarts history that one of the houses has higher popularity in student attendance at college football than Quidditch. Can you believe it? I mean, just take a glance in the stands behind us here. All that purple, all Ravenclaw pride, alumni and students alike. Cheering on Choi and the team as they continue to pad it on. Another touchdown. I think this could be a very pleasing year for the staff. I mean, look at that sack. It's a good blend of youth and senior mentorship as these guys know what they're talking about. Yeah, 45-14, we've just never looked back in this one. Absolute domination. That is a wraps 45-21. Let's see how the season goes as I believe it's a crucial year three stepping stone. Glimpses of greatness already showing up for the freshie toll, two sacks in week four against Houston. Couple that with some gem signees like Stephen Beebe here, a four-star lefty QB. That wasn't good enough. Gordon Higdon is right there too. Not worried about our QB position, nor am I worried about running back anymore. Jimmy Santoso, a gem halfback. Great pickups here across the board. As tradition, bring in a couple five stars led by Luis Suarez and beef up that line with Tim Tapp. Sound the alarm, we just brought in six foot seven Quincy Dove. That's what I'm talking about. The worst part is we just lost Derek Merriman here to Iowa. Year three was the foundational step we were hoping for. Eight and four, racked off five straight before losing to Arkansas State. UConn and Slytherin who ended up taking the house trophy this year. So unfortunately, beating Hufflepuff and Gryffindor was not enough. Choi had an all right season here, less ins, but definitely reminiscent of Lovegood, except Lovegood was a senior choice a sophomore so i think the ceiling's higher as expected nick ferris and marshall Owasika contributed right away truly incredible to see a true freshman plug and play and rack off nine and a half sacks not enough takeaways here in the secondary but most of them came from underclassmen actually in fact every corner or safety were freshman or sophomore. Climbing up in bold prestige year after year, third year now in the books, Alamo Bowl against TCU. With another top 15 class, we should be dangerous. This team has been pumping out Heisman year after year. I thought it would be worth a look to just jump in and see what they do in the Alamo Bowl. As here we go, Ravenclaw in the Alamo Bowl unis. Team is young and only getting better. Ian on that last carry is like the only senior out here. I guess him and Powell, the tight end, but we also have a bunch of other youth tight ends coming in. Past midfield already, that is pretty quick. And look at the step from number four, if it weren't for the linebacker deflecting it. Six wins, seven wins, eight wins more. Let's get this one underway. Heisman winners have not been announced, but this quarterback, number zero, also has a star under his name. I wonder if he done it. Truly incredible to see a team have back-to-back -back Heisman winners when they're different players. Emmanuel Oprum and Ravenclaw defense looking to stop the frogs in their tracks. Making them settle for three is honestly a win, but we can only hold them to three for so long. 10-7 gonna go here on fourth down in zone out of Ferris's hands. Our guys have been working hard in charms class outside of football because you know what they say, third time is a charm. Let's go take this one. TCU not going out quietly here, so we're gonna take our bomb and answer right 
back if he just ran faster. Another chance in this one. Let's pump fake it and find Marshall in stride. 98 speed, never felt so good. Here we are now, gonna go out to the zig. That much closer. We got a timeout, so I'm gonna audible to inside zone, let our running back plunge forward. All right, Choi, let's do this. Third and goal, no timeouts. Scrambling out to the right. Searching, searching, and finding touchdown insane window. No time left here at half. What a find. Marshall looking for him through the window. Whiffed DB. Even better now for the second half. We have a chance to start this thing off with some more points. Really glad Powell was able to hold on there again. So let's reward him with a touchdown. Down by three. TCU wants to go for it here. Fourth and one up the middle with the quarterback and he's gone. Stiff arm and all. Wow, what a run. For those that enjoy a good bowl game, you are all getting a treat right now. Choi, take off. Back and forth. This game keeps on on going down to the wire. What a find. Vallejo makes one man miss. He's in the red zone. On the run there, kept his eyes downfield. Now he's gonna strike over the middle. Didn't give it enough time to develop, so Powell is gonna lead him into danger. And yeah, a bit anticlimactic actually in this one. I thought we would get a chance, but defense squandered it. Quentin and the Frogs knock us out. So we fall 0-3 in bowl season. Although Choi got player of the game, that's crazy. Now John Lockhart doesn't wanna be part of the squad. I'll try to persuade him. It doesn't work. At least J.R. Baquette can go enjoy a career in the NFL. Because for us at Ravenclaw, man, we're still hungry for so much more. Six wins, seven wins, eight wins. We got to get at least nine next year. A bunch of three-star transfers want to come and be part of this. So I'm not going to say no. Maybe these can be some of the pieces that take us over the edge. Got most of our transfer targets. So that's good news. And finish it up with just a few more. Training results, check. 87 overall, check. Guys like Spiegel are thrusting themselves themselves right into the mix. Check out Georgia Rackbow getting four more physical traits as well. Insane stuff from our linebackers, but in general, this team is taking the next step. A lot of 80 overall ups. In year four, Hogwarts announced that there will be no tournament this year due to misconduct from the students. So it looks like we got a lot of non-conference games lined up. This year's prospects are just as magical as the last few classes. Platinum Jammer, 93 speed corner. Platinum Safety Valve Gem running back. Can you Add even more platinum. Kevin thinks so. Quick jump and team player. This is filthy. Bunch of other gem four stars as well round out the list. Can this year be different for the claw? Time will tell, but this is the best group of guys choice had. And I can't wait to feel out this team. I mean, take a look at the first drive of the game. Marshall was in the end zone, but he stepped out. This team is a certified squad. Let's go to Spiegel, our newest addition. First in goal. Spent one year on the bench, and now he's one of the best guys on this team. Couldn't hold on on the the last one so let's feed it to him again on this one yeah um about that score i know right let's uh get on the board and turn it around got all the options out here to go ahead and do it ferris is the guy for the job touchdown we're back let's go ahead and call up a stick and nod and yeah the tight end sticked right to where he needed to go just could not connect so that is our fault this one to speedle not quite fast enough for that corner. Duke looking to spoil this home opener. I will not stand for it. Let's find Coleman into the corner. Since that didn't work, let's find Spiegel across the middle. There we go. Run, baby, run. Looking to get Spiegel his first ever collegiate touchdown. Gonna jet touch it to him. Wow, spinning, using the block. Couldn't reach in. Thought we were truly onto something there. Instead, Ferris says, let me show you how it's done. The touch, the fall no good it's all good because spiegel's not about that touch life he wants to make it difficult on the opposition go home for the deep bomb um all right another blown opportunity fourth down we at least convert crazy how it's literally come down to this let's just take coleman cross and underneath easy first down now against the odds we're gonna need a miracle breaking free extending this play and then throwing the worst ball you could have thrown. Choi has made some costly decisions in this one. It literally comes down to this with like 30 seconds left. I know Tyreek Hill is practically on this team, so uh, I'm throwing it to him. That was insane. Would be a heck of a lot more insane if we can cash in for two right now. Easy pickings, literally terrible pre-fire. I hope you believe in miracles because we just got one. Well, before that sack, somehow the onside kick was recovered and we have a chance here. We just need someone to step up. Will it be? Yes, Marshall, three, two, one, and time has expired. Game over. <laughs> Ravenclaw fans are in a frenzy. Absolute terrible game from Choi, like four interceptions or something. One of his worst, but it didn't matter because the final blow 
is the game winner for Marshall. That's what I'm talking about, man. Everyone scrambled to the line. DBs could not get back in coverage. And you're just not going to guard a guy with that much speed. Insane. Let's hope that's a sign of things to come this season. Maybe good luck's on Ravenclaw's side after all. We were focused a lot on the offense, but Larry McNabb, kudos to you, man. 92 speed off the left end position. Hi, Kevin five-star right outside linebacker joining the ranks and yeah our team's starting to look good so good in fact that we're seven and one at the midway point 25th in the nation starting to see this on a week-to-week -week basis our players are getting recognized that last second thriller against duke led to a win against fcs midwest before mizzou knocked us off by three after that we went on a tear winning the next five this is absolutely crazy you see that right hufflepuff and ravenclaw cracking into the playoffs after a successful 10 and two campaign from our boys Hufflepuff 11 and 1 7 and 5 not too bad from Gryffindor and 6 and 6 out of Slytherin that's good enough for a bowl game Hufflepuff was out here cooking but one of the main reasons we are where we are today is because of Salisy Choi I knew this gem five-star quarterback was the future, especially when he came in at 80 overall. He's atop the Heisman watch list. 3,800 yards, 34 touchdowns, 12 ints, a really good season, but not Heisman worthy in my opinion. It must be the additional seven rushing touchdowns and 580 yards on the ground. Everyone was feasting Marshall and Spiegel over a thousand yards, 12 touchdowns for Nick Ferris. Incredible sight to see as the defense was mostly solid as well. Choi has been a certified baller and just secured the Heisman. No surprise he was the best quarterback in the FBS. That's going to lock us into a first round against West Virginia. Check out this bracket. We come in at the seventh seed, taking on West Virginia. Winner plays NC State. The only way we'll see Hufflepuff is in the national championship. They got a route that starts against Auburn. Wyoming, TCU, again, they have been dominant this whole rebuild. Looks like a fun bracket all in all. No Alabama, no Georgia, no Ohio State, no Michigan. Kind of hyped about this. I feel like we are here ahead of schedule. This Ravenclaw team has built quickly. When you got the Wizards in the magic like this team you are gonna be stacked and you are gonna fight till the bitter end taking on anyone in your way ferris touchdown let's get the party started you don't just come into ravenclaw's home and expect to beat them do you west virginia was able to get on the board so we're tasked with keeping this pressure on looking for some more points that's right the heisman is here with a star studded cast of receivers it's gonna be fun this playoff run should be a lot of fun no doubt about it making quick work out here what in tarnation that ball was so far away from number 14 it's not even funny if i had a trophy for furthest ball to get away from the target that would have been it but you know what heisman quarterbacks deliver even after facing adversity in the last drive so we got it all knotted up in this one need this fourth down conversion we got it spiegel completed it now we're in business again oh my goodness no i'm i'm not even kidding i hit triangle the guy that was going on the corner and it went over the middle. Is there a glitch or a bug right now I'm not aware of? I'm not even making an excuse for bad quarterback play. I'll usually own up to when I start to blow it. I actually don't know why those last passes were so off. Like I went to the triangle right here. That time I was hit. Unless I couldn't see that I got hit on those last couple passes, there really is no explanation for why they went so south. I can't believe it. It all comes down to this corner route. That one's online. He dropped it. Down by six. Choi, I count on you to step it up, my man. I mean, you don't just win Heisman to not go ahead and use it throwing balls just like that. Got that one off to Marshall under immense pressure. Now we're going to go back at it to Marshall again first and goal gonna let huerta cash in on the fun take the lead a first down or two away from icing this one out just need to burn timeouts they're pressing up on us so i'm actually gonna take a shot here i feel good about it so does spiegel corner end zone no way forget the clock man we need a first down we can't let them get the ball back with only a one point lead that's gonna do it victory formation we get to take a knee and we win by one point our college football playoff dreams continue winning the first one against west virginia i wonder how hufflepuff did on the other side absolutely heartbreaking hufflepuff fell by three points to auburn crazy first late of games all determined by three points or less each and every one of these matchups the show must go on to the cotton bowl against nc state wolfpack well i guess you could say nc state's been humiliating us first half pretty much in the books we have nothing 
to show for it. Instead, we have an NC State team up 14-0 looking to close us out but i'll tell you what's going to happen here Choi is not one to back down cashed in on his opportunity sheds free of a sack but not the second one forced to take back to the air spiegel will you come rescue us man that's embarrassing 38 7 we got mccracken the backups in unbelievable today how bad we just got whooped so we're gonna sniff the cotton bowl but get demolished 41 to 10 clearly disappointment across hogwarts hufflepuff eliminated last week now Ravenclaw gets down well as disappointing as it is to drop the big game this team is absolutely stacked I mean McNabb just took one of the biggest offseason leaps up to 93 overall a 92 speed left end just got even more dangerous with 93 finesse move 87 hit power 95 tackle and then some of our award-winning seniors here are just aging like fine wine I think this next season could be the team of destiny because of guys like Quincy Dove have I introduced you to the six foot seven star man just jumped like 10 overall points Luis Suarez, our five-star gem from the other class. He is an elite deb, also up to 85. Now add Kevin Harvin, true freshman with quick jump. This team is mixed and matched with so many young and senior guys that can take us to the promised land. The season in question here, we are back with our tournament. However, the excitement is spread across multiple weeks. They think it's better for the student body, so wizards are engaged all the way throughout. Truthfully, I don't think we'll have a problem keeping them engaged because I think we'll go past the tournament and into the national championship game. Almost midway into the season, Ravenclaw 5-0, number two in the nation, kicking off the Hogwarts tournament against Gryffindor. Kicking off this one with some first quarter action, fireworks, fourth and one, he didn't get it. And here comes the vaunted offense. Choi Heisman winner from last season looking to do it again. He's going to snap this one, get a man in motion, dump it out to Dove, the six foot seven security blanket. Another good season here from Harry Potter's group, but honestly, Ravenclaw is built different. Dove, Upshaw, Spiegel, Awosika, everyone is a true threat out here let alone the quarterback with his legs is a threat as well. What I'm saying, my friend, is it's hard to guard anyone on the field. They're all capable of beating you. So the only hope that you can see right here is just getting pressure in before it's too late for six foot seven dub to just moss you and run all the way in. You know you're down bad when a six foot seven tight end's absolutely cooking you. Every single matchup out here is winnable. Except in this case, Gryffindor, great interception. Unfortunately for Harry Potter, his four in one bunch, it looks like he's built something pretty nice up here. It's just not going to have it in them to take out this vaunted squad today. Kicking it out to the running back on this strong toss. He's got the edge and he's in. Recruiting running back, seriously paying off. This gem RB from a couple classes ago, we used to not have the speed to get around the edge like that. This is scary. Look at how many stars there are out there on defense. Our best unit by far. I feel scared for anyone except somehow on this blown coverage. Guess I'll go ahead and give him kudos for trying because it's too little too late. Upshaw, touchdown. Upshaw gonna give it to you. I said Upshaw gonna give it to you. It's Saturday night, we in the spot. Don't believe Choi, just watch. I think we reminded Gryffindor who's boss. In this tournament, we wanna bring it back to Ravenclaw after losing it to Slytherin the other year. Perfect 8-0 right now on the season, yet somehow we fall a couple spots to four. Regardless, let's get the second act of the tournament underway against Slytherin. If anyone wants to take a guess at how this one's gonna go, I just recommend you look at the records. Not big at talking smack unless we're taking on Slytherin. I refuse to let these guys have anything to celebrate about dove way to snag that out of the air putting dove on a texas route i'm telling you this man is so versatile and so tall it didn't pan out there but let's go ahead and put him on a corner route see if he can get loose i'm looking his way all the way one-on-one -on -one. all right time for choi to work his magic no more just looking dove's way as soon as i say that though dove is open and gets decked forget it fourth and goal of course we're going for it why not defense can't keep letting these guys slither their way back into the game Choi is gonna step up use his versatile skill set spin his way and finish it off if you're going for back-to-back -back Heisman you make plays like that Choi knows he's nothing without this team I mean he's got options galore ah oh, jeez just mind-boggling to see players go out and make plays like that Spiegel finish us off you're in there right no worries big dog I'll do it myself if I got room, back to the left. 
Don't think we're gonna get this one. All right, you caught me. I just wanted to make this third and 30 look all the more impressive when we come right back down and score. Fourth and five, much better. Let's go ahead and hit it to the corner. I hate to admit it, but I think we're gonna fall somehow to Slytherin. Absolutely, insanely difficult to get an onside kick when I'm using it. The perfect schedule just got depleted. 41-38, we're losing to Slytherin. It really stings. Now in the final leg of the tournament, we're just playing for consolation prize. Well, it was a fun run for the Hogwarts Cup. Slytherin's gonna get it again. Again, so that kind of sucks but let's see if we can just knock off Hufflepuff a team that's five and five after making an appearance in the college football playoffs I can't believe how far they have fallen 27-3 they don't look good at all 11 and one could have been perfect if it were not for that darn Slytherin team we really handled everyone else in our path this team is destined for greatness even better season from Choi so if it was a similar skill group as last year Choi should have another Heisman Spiegel Upshaw really balled out. Definitely can't forget about Marshall and Dove. Sophomore McNabb is crazy. 14 sacks. Kiki Coffee with four picks. Emmanuel, three. Jaden Barnes, three. Goda with two. And McSurdy with two. Good news, we are in. Bad news, once we take care of UCLA, we have to take on Oregon, which that team is always cracked in the college football playoffs. What did I say? Choi with another player of the year award. So surely he was bound to get the Heisman back to back years. We've had a couple Heisman winners before in previous rebuilds, but I don't think anyone's gone back to back. Round one of the college football playoffs start at home against UCLA. This is the moment under the lights. This is for everything we've been working all year for. If you have one moment, one opportunity, this is everything you wanted. Would you capture it or would you let it slip? So far, we're capturing it. Spiegel, good conversion. Obviously, it would be unfair if the Wizards could use their magic during the game. So honestly, it's raw talent, mono e mono for it all. Dove, get us on the board, big man. Defensive battle seven to six with just a couple minutes left here in the second quarter. Going across Upshaw. They could not hang in on the last one. Maybe these next play or two will go our way. It does not. Time to get to work. We know what to do. Let's get the boys in motion here. Try to fool the defense. Give them a different wrinkle. This defensive line is insane for UCLA. Forced to go with the all goes here. I'm hoping someone, anyone can get past their DB or maybe come back and make a play. Spiegel. Dreams do come true because there are a lot of stars across that defensive line. I think every single one of them, they're all stars. No wonder why they're here in the playoffs. They have built themselves an elite defense, but we've an elite offense who just head topped them. Dove is a very fitting name for a Ravenclaw because they both fly. And as it stands right now with a one point lead, we are looking to soar our way into the next round. I just don't know where to go with this one. Still one point cushion after trade field goals we got a wide open dove and if you keep going back to this man the well we shall be soaring into the next round insane game right now from the young tight end Ooh, fit that window hold on now we're starting to cook up something until i just did that what are we thinking is he gonna go all the way no catch him catch him was feeling myself a little too much Flew too close to the sun like Icarus through the interception, but we're right back in business, baby. The key is to be unfazed. A little bit of drama never hurt anyone. Way to get off the sack. Are you out of your mind, Choi? Come on, man. One of the best college football players ever with two Heisman. That's why he's the man. All we need is field goal range. That's it. So let's go ahead and do it. Jump in first. I'm not laughing anymore when I got James Winston, gem kicker, a couple of years ago in the recruiting portal. This is why we brought the man in. He might need to be the hero. As it stands, we're in great position to chew out the clock and let it rip for one big kick. UCLA out of timeouts, back to the well. Not an upshot injury before the next round. Oh no. Uh oh, that also costed us a timeout. So double whammy, double negative. Oh no. James Winston still needs to make the ever so important kick, but UCLA is going to have like 30 seconds left. That is a lot of time in college football, sinking the three cash money all day. Here's what we're dealing with. 18 seconds left. A lot of time in college football, I'm telling you. Even worse, they just need field goal range. So we got to manage a blend here of pass defense can't get burnt over the top but now it's eight seconds to go we can pretty much expect a big bomb as he just tosses one up for all heck he got it flag on the play i think it's coming back yeah so i'm gonna negate that cool catch final play of the game one second left just can't get burnt 
all the way to the end zone. He's taking a shot. We got DBs there. Interception. Let's end this game. UCLA is stunned. Ravenclaw holds on for one point victory. Let's go on to the next round. Next stop, Orange Bowl. Oregon Ducks, you know who they are. This team's out for blood, they always are, so we're gonna have to go and bring our A game, which is exactly why it's important for Choi and the team to get first drive points, fourth down, Upshaw, first and one. We just need to come out swinging because this Ducks team is never gonna say die. Effectively did not work whatsoever. Second time's a charm, Spiegel's in there. Back and forth this game has gone. No one wants to give it up, especially with everything on the line. Dove breaks a tackle, spins around two more. I love this tight end. He's gotta be one of my favorites. Six foot seven, full of muscle. Yeah, get it up close on all that muscle, right? Low key, Ravenclaw's helmet has reminded me of Oregon, so it's pretty great we're facing each other. And score one for the boys back home. Oregon, intercepted. But if we hold them right here on a fourth and one, we could be scot-free. It's all over here for the Ducks, man. Not enough time to actually get it going. If they score a touchdown, great, which they do, but I was worried about the time they would have left as Jerry just one hand picks it up. Orange Bowl wraps. Ravenclaw advances. Hogwarts is going hog wild right now. We're at the Sugar Bowl taking on Arkansas and we can just feel it. And I don't know what's going on here in the stadium or with my game, but the brightness is off the charts. This has happened before an NCAA 14. It's not gonna stop us. Touchdown. They seriously turned this thing up to overdrive. I've never seen the lighting look this bad. We still got a ball game to play. I can't let that factor be the reason we go down and our dreams get crushed. It's funny because it didn't look that way coming out the tunnel. I don't know what just happened in between the tunnel, run out, and now this. Well, what is going on? Costly turnover there, blinded by the light. That's my excuse. We can have no more excuses on this play. Four seconds left. Let's call that timeout. Up by a touchdown. I couldn't get the slip screen off. Need this third and nine to work out. We'll hit it out to Suarez. He's got it. Looking for a huge contribution here from someone. Dove, way to haul it in. Joining seconds of the third quarter. Would love to cash in here. And we'll just dump it to Upshaw for five. Five yards closer to pay dirt. You're gonna step up to the left, shrug off one man, but not the other. Two possessions with one quarter to go. That feels good. Fourth and 17, our defense was never gonna yield to the Razorbacks. He's just forced to take an absolute deep bomb shot. Comes down with it, touchdown. But I think it's too late. Still two possession, even at this touchdown. 26, 18, that's gonna do it. We have the Sugar Bowl. And now we have a berth into the College Football National Championship game. One final trick for Roger Davies and this Ravenclaw group. We have Iowa State in the big game. Hogwarts packing the stands in this one, but so are Iowa State Cyclones. Here they come. 2033 College Football National Championship game. And more importantly, the decisive moment that Hogwarts is firmly on the map. I mean, these guys have been good for a while. Slytherin's been good. Hufflepuff had a couple good seasons in a playoff run. Gryffindor from Harry Potter also did some good work, but hey, no one got to this point sooner than we did at Ravenclaw. And now that we're here, we have no plans of slowing down. Looking to start off the first drive with an absolute bang. Look who's wide open. Dove, first play of the game. All the way, touchdown. Let's go Ravenclaw. Absolutely electric first play to start this game off. Iowa State went 14 and one, ranked fifth in the nation. I applaud them getting this far. I just don't think they are ready for the amount of weapons that are in store. Everywhere I look across this field, I see a magical wizard superstar. Why is no one on dub? That is a miscue and an easy touchdown on a rampage early number 87 already waving them goodbye waving them goodbye is a risky move as that could definitely inspire them to step their game up and if they stop us here on this fourth down it's going to look good for them but we're not going to let it happen end of the third quarter we're still maintaining an 11 point cushion don't want to become the atlanta falcons all of a sudden but i think I'm feeling pretty good. Truthfully, I don't think there was much panic at all from this group of guys the entire playoff run when you got two-time Heisman winner just dotting everyone up. Talk about a great day though for Dove, putting the performance of a lifetime in at the biggest stage. Exactly what we wanted to see, Iowa State getting desperate, going for it on fourth down, handoff, 
they do pick it up but down by 18 they have to get to work fast holding oh no that's costly now it's going to be fourth and eight they had the first down but i don't know about this it's going to be a big play and he completed iowa state got in there but man they have not prepared well for our tight end fourth touchdown of the day our quarterback Choi is ready to ride off into the sunset the senior has well deserved this national championship it's just another chapter in his storied career as he's won two Heismans, as I've said many times by now, but at a 458 yard, six touchdown performance in the championship game, give him that trophy and ring because Ravenclaw has won the national championship game. It was decisive all the way through. As much as I appreciate a team like Iowa State in the big game, Ravenclaw, Hogwarts, everyone is gonna go crazy. Even Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff fans, they all show their respect to Roger Davies here and the boys making Hogwarts proud. Witches and wizards around the world have a team that they can call their own in college football. No longer a one sport wonder. Fans can expand their taste buds outside of just Quidditch. And with that, I hope you all enjoyed, soaked up this rebuild. King Sponge back at it again with the creative team builder. And that was odd, some of the coaching staff on the podium, but definitely hit that subscribe button, drop a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll get you all in the next one. Peace.